We're talking with members of the Minnewaska area, FFA, on this KMRS KKOK update, and uh, they didn't get to hold the national convention. It was done virtually this year, of course, because of the pandemic, but we still want to highlight some of the accomplishments of our uh, FFA members in the area. And Jenna Drews is our is our uh, guest this time. She is a junior officer with Minnewaska area. Thanks for taking time to talk to us. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell me about who your parents are and uh, and where you live. Uh, my parents are Jamie and Charlene Drews, and I live in Starbuck, Minnesota. All right, so right there in town? Yep. All right. How did you get interested in FFA? Some of my friends uh, introduced me to it. And I always saw the FFA barn at the fair that they had, and it always looked pretty fun and cool. So I decided I would try it. There are a lot of opportunities in FFA, and uh, what can a town kid do? I can do just as much as one of the farm kids or country kids. I, because in FFA, you get a chance to do anything and everything. You're a junior officer. Explain what that is. Uh, so my level is stepped down one from all of the other officers. So we can still help make the decisions with the older, with the main officers, but we get to do one single like event all on our own. And have, and have you have you done that event yet? No, we have not. We okay. still have to do that planning. So what kind of event are, are you thinking of doing then? We have came up with ideas such as like fundraiser things and activities, maybe a food drive or making blankets for homeless people or raising money for other things. You said you were one of three junior officers. Who are the other two? Um, Haley Shea and Avery Fear. All right. And uh, and uh, are there some other projects you've been working on uh, at, with FFA? Yeah, we are working on our CDE. So it's a judging competition that we can go to. So I am in a general livestock competition where I will go in and I will judge these animals by how they are ranked. And then at the end, everybody sees how everyone is done and then we get placed. Are there some animals you're better at judging than others? Yes, I am better at judging cows. (laughs) Okay. Are you other than everything? <laughs> are you uh, how? Why are you more familiar with cows than the other animals? Uh, we can My uncle has this farm, and we go out and help on his farm a lot, and we help do a lot of stuff out there. So I've been around cows a lot of my life, and it just comes easier to me, I guess. Sure. Sure. Well, how has the pandemic affected uh, your group and and your school in general? Um, uh, starting with the school, I'm, are you on uh, uh, distance learning at all? Uh, hybrid? Are you in person? Uh, we do hybrid at the moment. And how has that gone? It's going pretty well. The there's been one little outbreak yet, but it's going pretty good. All right. Has it uh, slowed down activities then for FFA? Yes, it has. We haven't got to jump into things like we normally would. We have to slow down and take precautions this year. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has, so. But it's better yeah. to be safe. Yep. Are you hoping to get some some more things done yet this year? Yes. Uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for the future and for our new members to have an experience since they don't get the actual full experience of doing all this stuff since the pandemic. 
Do you have uh, some uh, examples of things that uh, you're hoping to do yet this year? Um, we are going to do this food drive. And we're doing fruit sales at the moment. And we want to go to more leadership camps and fun camps we can all do together. And we want to go to a rodeo. Okay. Like every year. Well, I hope you get to all of those things in. It sounds like it's going to be a busy, uh, busy 2021 for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> How many are in your group, by the way? Uh, I think around 30, 40. And your advisor is? Uh, Katie Brown. Got to give her some, uh, you know, some credit out there, right? Yeah. Well, Jenna, Drews, thank you very much for being a part of our interviews here for National FFA. The National FFA convention is going virtual this year, and so uh, usually we have Jim Bartles go down to the national convention and talk with our local participants. Well, this year we're calling around to talk about the local chapters and what they're doing this year, and it's our pleasure to talk with Leah Hagen, who is with the Minnewaska uh, FFA. Thanks for taking time here on this Friday. Thank you for having me. Well, tell me about yourself. Who are your parents? Uh, well, my name is Lee Hagen, and I'm a junior at Minnewaska Area High School, and my parents are Jenny and Jason Hagen of Glenwood. And uh, what is your position in the FFA? Currently, I am the reporter for our chapter. And the reporter does what? Um, I keep up with all the social media apps for our chapter, and I keep up with all the new news that's going on around all the FFA chapters around the region and state and national and I just keep everybody updated of all the new stuff. Yeah, and uh, you have an excuse then to be, you can sit and play on your phone and say, oh, I'm working for FFA, right? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Good for you. So how's the year gone for FFA this year? Are you still getting in some activities? Yeah, we actually been pretty busy um, we haven't got to do any competitions, obviously, but we've done a lot of stuff with our chapter. We've had our Halloween party. We've had a lot of meetings already. Um, last night we had our our watch. We had a watch party for the national convention, so that was really fun to see, and it was really different, but it was cool. What do they do on a watch party, or what do they do at the national convention? Uh, they elected the new officers. They had like their sessions that they normally have down there that they pre-filmed and then they ran it so everybody could see it. And it was really cool because we were on a Zoom with all the other Minnesota people and it was really cool to see everybody. Did you all have little squares all around the screen there? Yep, we did. <laughs> did they put... Our, yeah, go that ahead. was our costume night too and so everybody's all dressed up in costumes and it was really cool. All right. Did they go around and say, and uh, hello to Minnewaska, and you guys all in your costumes wave to them? Yep, and we all said what we were wearing, too. Super. What other projects have you been working on this year? Uh, we're just getting started on our, like, SAEs and what we're going to be doing for, like, we're starting to work on them and figure out what everybody's doing. Uh, we're, right now we're at, like, 40 members, and we're trying to get some more members. And we're all figuring out what we all decide want to do. So, yeah. 40 members, that's a pretty good uh, group there. Mm hmm. We're growing pretty fast, though. There's a lot of people that want to join, but they haven't got their sheets in yet. So, so do you have to do a little bit of recruiting then, too? Talk them into it? Mm hmm. We've done, we've, that's how we've got quite a few of our people. Uh, two years ago, we started at like, we didn't that have that many members, but then Miss Brown came in, and now we kind of skyrocketed from where we were. Well, that's great. And uh, so when you go to recruit somebody, how do you sell FFA? Um, I just tell them how it'd be a fun, how like good of an experience it is and how much fun it is and all the people that are in it. And then I tell them what exactly you do. And then I tell them, like, it'll, it'll look good on your college resume and stuff like that. So do you have any things that you want to complete yet uh, in the second half of the year? 
Um, my, well, a goal is hopefully we can be in, in person for our competitions. That would be really nice instead of having it online. So hopefully that will happen. All right. Well, thanks for spending some time with us, and uh, we hope you do get uh, back into in-person uh, in person competitions and everything else. Thank you. Again, we've been talking to Leah Hagen, who's with the Minnewaska FFA on KMRS KKOK.